Hi, my name is Pauline Bornfather and I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator. Today I'd like to show you an old technique actually um, that I have used very recently at one of my classes. It's the polished stone technique and I have used it to create this beautiful background and then I've layered up with the daisy punch from the delightful daisy bundle. So it's a very simple technique and in the UK um, I've used surgical spirit. Uh, I believe in America uh, you can use rubbing alcohol but this is surgical spirit and I just picked it up at my local super drug um, and it was less than two pounds for this bottle um, and I had a class um, and we the, well we've all used it and um, I've still got quite a bit left. So I'm going to just quickly show you how this technique works. So I have a cotton ball and I'm going to just get the surgical, oops, sorry, just bash the camera. I'm going to get the surgical spirit and I'm just going to tip it up and straight back. So it's just this little bit here that's got the surgical spirit on. I'm just going to put the lid straight back on that. Then I'm going to use our um, Stampin' Up Reinkers. I've got Daffodil Delight and my Mossy Meadow, which has completely lost the label. Um, but all you do is, with the reinker, just put three little drops on there of the Daffodil Delight. And then with the Mossy Meadow, just do exactly the same thing. And I'm just going to put three little drops on there so it will look like that and then I've got my glossy card already here cut and I'm going to start in the middle because if I start at one end, I, well actually I can show you if I start at one end and I just start dabbing and then just carry that through I'm going to end up with quite a regular pattern but if I start in the middle and work out, it won't be uh, regular at all. And also, if you use your non-dominant hand, because I'm right-handed, but if I use my non-dominant hand, you will get a much looser and freer pattern. Because when we use our less dominant hand, you have to kind of think a little bit more when you're bringing the cotton ball onto the card and we're not so precise so you definitely do get a much freer and it flows a lot better if you just remember to use the non-dominant and then we can come back in there and fill in the spaces so i'm just going to dab it i'm kind of pouncing i think you'd well high dabbing <laughs> and just fill in any spots that you feel that haven't got much ink like so and that is literally it there's your polished stone background and then I've just trimmed one down to size to create this beautiful daisy card so I hope that's helped thanks for watching and happy crafting